Good morning everybody, hope you're all doing well. So what I'm gonna show you today is a full body workout using only resistance bands and body weight. And it's gotta be under 25 minutes, very important. You don't need long workouts to build muscle. Now this workout was done at 7.30 a.m. It gets light very quickly here, like at before six, and as you can see that houses an entire window by itself. So I work out early. Now this workout uses the principles, the methods, and the techniques in all kinds of exercises that I teach people in my Raw Food Muscle Academy too. Now, when you want to know more about building muscle and raw foods, you can get my free mini video course down below. It explains everything. Now, let's get to the workout. So here I'm starting up with my warm up. And what I'm doing here is shoulder dislocation with the bands. Now I did a bunch of them already. This sequence took about two minutes. Don't worry, I'm not gonna show you all of it. This is basically opening up the entire shoulder area, depresses the scapula. It's very important to open up that shoulder area. And I use different grips and widths for resistance. Now here we're gonna go into shoulder hangs, or just hanging from a bar. This opens up the shoulders and just basically stretches out the entire chest area too. Very important because there's a bunch of muscles that connect within the shoulder and opening them up is very important to prevent injuries but also making sure you have all the movements for your upper body set because you use your arms basically. So this is always very nice to do. Then we're gonna go into shoulder pull aparts with the bands again. Again, very good for opening everything up. Very, very important. Allows proper blood flow allows you to be on point. So I'll do some more stretching here. Again, opening up the shoulders. Using these bars, pretty nice. But at this point I was like, I pretty much warmed up. Let me do the other side too. And then we're ready to rumble. So here I'm just collecting my thoughts on the pull-ups I'm gonna do. And this is gonna be my primary back movement. Now this bar is a little slanted, as you can see it. It's a little higher on the right side, but I made it work. I need to duck my head a little bit, like pull it back to not hit the ceiling. But here we're gonna go into pull-ups. Now you, I'll take my shirt off a little later so you can actually see what happens underneath the shirt with the muscles and everything. You see me retracting my scapula, but what we're gonna do here is basically pull-ups and use the giant set principle. The giant set principle is basically going as many reps as you can till you can't do a proper rep anymore. You take a couple seconds of a breather and they go on and on and on until you can't do a proper rep anymore after set breather. So here we go and as you can see on the top, it's very controlled, this movement. I retract my shoulder blades, go up and up and up, and then I hold it for a little, and then I go down. Now with this one, I was failing, so I didn't. But holding it on top is very important because then you move yourself up using your musculature, not your movement or momentum. So you're not throwing yourself up. Here we go again, had a little breather, and then we're gonna get straight back in. I'm gonna do as many reps as I can, and then I do another breather. Here we go. It's getting pretty tough, as you can see. Pull-ups are a wonderful exercise. They hit everything of the back, like everything. It's so powerful, they hit your biceps too. Here we go, had a breather, one rep. Can we do another one? Maybe, maybe. Nope, we couldn't, we couldn't. <laughs> As you can see, it's getting really tough. All right, we'll try more. Let's see if we have another rep in us. Yeah, it seems we do. Yeah, hold it a little bit. There we go. Now at that point I knew like I can't do a second rep. <laughs> it's getting pretty tense. So a little breather and I was like, oh, I don't think I can do another one. I don't think I can do another one. Thinking, should I continue with this one or not? Was that a fail? Yes, it was a fail. I couldn't, you know, I couldn't do the rep anymore. So I walked back. At this point I was getting pretty warm by the way. So I thought, I'll do the reverse grip. A little different variation actually, but it's really nice. Here we go, can we do another one? Nope, we can't. Like I said, I was getting hot. So at this point I was like, okay, I'm gonna take off my shirt now. It gets pretty chilly here in the mornings. <laughs> and during the day it gets pretty hot, but during the, during the evenings and the, the mornings it's really chilly. So at this point I was warmed up. Now here you can see, retracting my shoulder blades and pulling myself up. And you can see every muscle working there. It's awesome. Retract shoulder blades, try to go up, couldn't. Very important to retract the shoulder blades. I am debating, shall I go again? My, my hands feel like they're ripping apart. You know what, I will. Hands are pretty tough here because the bar is pretty, pretty big, so you have to grab it all around. See, retracting the shoulder blades. Couldn't go up anymore. That was it. Done. Pull-ups are done. So here we go into the second back movement. Banded rows. Now as you can see, this hits every single muscle in your back. And here I'm adjusting my grip. Every single exercise, I'm trying to feel how should my grip be? What feels good? What feels right? And here I settle on this grip. Now the second exercise after pull-ups usually doesn't last that long. 
There we go. You see me retracting everything. You see that? Everything is working there. It's such a wonderful exercise. Rows alone can build an entire back. There we go. Here again, I'm going to go to failure and I'm going to do sort of a giant set, but it's not going to be that giant after this one. Just take a little breather and I'm going to go straight back in it. Now, as you can see, it's, it's pretty tough already. Like, I'm pretty knackered after those uh, pull-ups. And that's it. I don't think I can do more. Did I do one more? No, I did not. <laughs> so here we're going to go into my favorite back exercise, Bandit Good Mornings. So I did like 20, 25 reps here. I'm not going to go to failure here. This is just supportive exercise. It hits the entire back side of your body, from the top of your neck or the bottom of your neck, all the way down to your hamstrings, the back of your legs. Very good to structure that, but also to stretch, to strengthen. So it's a very great exercise. And there we go. So I did 20, 25 reps, like I said. Now I wanted to do dips and I thought I have two chairs. Let me just, you know, rearrange the deck here and uh, see if I can make it work. And I could. Just had to move my legs out a little. So here we go. This is my primary chest exercise. Also hit your triceps, also hit your shoulders, the front side. But as you can see, you can already see the muscles working, like why they call it the upper body squat. Because this hits basically like <laughs> almost everything if you have a body. Hits your core, like your, your chest is working full force, your delts. It's a really tough exercise. Now at this point I was pretty tired already from all the other work. And as you can see I'm doing slow and controlled reps here. Slowly coming up again. <laughs> it was getting tough. I couldn't do a rep after this anymore. Again, giant set principle, as I explained. And I just wait a little at the, th at the bottom. And then I go up again. This is such a great exercise. And here we go. As you can see, I just cut and cut and cut between the footage. But I'm doing a giant set, but I'm not going to drag this entire thing out. You know how it goes. So I was like, oh, I can't do a rep anymore. Damn. Then I was like, I'll try one more. Just to, just to go with it. And uh, it was a resounding nope. You saw me shaking my head there. Yeah, pretty tough, these things. So I rearranged the deck again. Now I'm going to go into my second chest exercise. It's the delts and the triceps too. Banded chest presses. Excellent exercise. Constant tension with the bands. Wonderful. And as you can see, I adjusted my grip a couple times. Again, feeling. How does it feel? Here we go again. And as you can see, I have an upright posture. Proud. And I'm just squeezing it out. Squeezing the chest at the top. And I'm not using mainly my arms. I'm just using my chest to contract. And after the dips, there wasn't much left in me. This is pretty light band, actually. Usually I'm at the red one or the, the yellow one when I do this as a primary movement, but here, nope. So here we go again. Trying to attempt the giant set, but it's not going to be that giant of a set. There we go. Nope, oh, that was it. <laughs> yeah, pretty tired at this point. But we have to go on. We have to get it done. Waving at the property owner here. The really nice, beautiful spot here. I'm showing you readjusting the camera. And here we go into side raises. Wonderful. Did both sides, obviously. Not going to atrophy here, just going until I can't do a rep anymore. And then I'll finish up with some half reps. As you can see, this works the side of the delts. It's a really cool exercise, really neat. Here we go, side reps until I can't do any more. Then I did some rear delt flies. Hits the back side of the shoulder, stabilizes, improves your posture. Beautiful view, eh? <laughs> yeah, ass kicking view. Right, then we're gonna go into bicep curls with the bands. So we did the regular one here. Very effective exercise. Again, I won't go to failure on these small exercises like past failure, just going to failure, I can't do a rep anymore. No giant set here. And here we fill. Ugh. Then I'm gonna do hammer grip, which basically like when you hold it like a hammer. Really tough, especially after that main one. Squeezing it in till I can't do a rep anymore, done. Then tricep work. So banded pull downs, lovely exercise. Really hits the triceps, as you can see. Now, dips already hammered my triceps, so there wasn't much to do here. They were already pretty much finished. Again, not going past failure, just failure. And then I did my other arm with this one because the previous one didn't feel good for that elbow. I don't know what it is, ever since bodybuilding. Never felt good that, sh that uh, exercise for my elbow, so. Then we're gonna go into legs. And I was like, I have this downward driveway, right? Like, it's inclined. I'll do some lunges here. Lunge is great exercise, which hits your entire entire um, legs, like upper leg, back of the leg, hits your butt too. But this was so tough, like I was like, oh, this is going to be nothing. It was so tough. Then I straight bent back into uh, squats. And at the point I was like, oh, squats are not that intense, right, with body weight. And after the lunges, I was completely destroyed. So my legs were like crying and whimpering here. So I did as many reps as I can until I can't do a proper rep anymore. <laughs> which is here, I was like, oh, I can't get up anymore, oh no. 
So I took a little breather, and as you can see, I'm completely destroyed after that hill and this. And then I went back at it again, like a giant set. And I'm doing one big super giant set of this, so I'm gonna go until I can't do a rep anymore. Which probably will be here, I suppose. Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't get up anymore. See me just whimpering there like, oh. And then I went straight back into the lunges. And at this point I was like, why am I doing this to myself? This is so intense. But it, it builds the legs well. And straight back into the squats again. So lunges and squats work your, uh, work your legs pretty well. Now usually I use weight for legs. It's the only exception I make with weights. Like, the legs are so powerful, but at this point I didn't have any weight. So I was like, okay, I'll do this. So legs destroyed. Then we're gonna do some mobility work. Here we're doing some um, some nice face pulls. Then we're gonna do some sh scapula retractions, shoulder blade retractions for the posture. The previous one was for posture too. Love this exercise. Pretty hard at this point though. And then we're gonna do some hangs and we're gonna do some abs. Here I'm tucking in my hips, just just twisting my hips forward, bending them forward, like twisting them. Hits the lower abs fully. Like abs are fully hit with all the exercises I did. You have to balance yourself constantly with body weight. So there we go. A muscle building workout in under 25 minutes. Full body using only bands and body weight. You don't need hour long workouts or a gym to build muscle. Let that be clear. Now, like I said, if you want to know more about building muscle and raw fruits, free mini video course down below. And this is me post-workout sipping on my hydration, fresh coconut water. So lovely. Very, very important to replenish your glycogen after your workout with carbs. There we go, putting on my sweater again, it's quite chilly. Now, if you want to know more about this, like I said, course down below, but also ask questions. Drop them in the comments. If you have anything to say, anything to share, drop them in the comments. Talk with each other, learn from each other. Very, very important. Now, this is me signing out. Hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one. And now I'm going to recover from my workout because it was intense.